Hi everybody. Monday, April 29th, 2019. What we've got going on here is we're going through and, and getting the hops all prepared, trained up. Now, what we need to do is the hops, as you're looking down on the ground, they grow clockwise around the core rope. So what we're doing is we're going through and helping train them. Some of these are kind of wild and growing over and we're taking and putting anywhere from three to five of the hops vines binds onto the core rope so the initial uh, basically and then if there's any weak little shoots coming on we're actually going in and pulling them out and they'll pull straight out so we're just going through as we're looking down clockwise just wrap on around get it started come on over here same thing just gonna go wrap that just be gentle with them these tips are really really tender so we want to be really careful with those and just just get them going and it don't take much at that point they'll do the rest what this is doing is number one you know that's just where they need to go otherwise some of them will try and just go across the ground this one the tip is broken off perhaps from a deer or something um, it will send out some other shoots here and it'll grow because this particular one we've only got three on so we're just gonna go with that um, this one here has two so we've got an extra one here. These are a little shorter in case this one fails, we'll go ahead and put it on here. But that's enough. That's pretty much besides weed control, at this point, that's pretty much all that needs to be done. If we get a real dry spell in the summer, we're gonna might have to water them, but there, this is about it. So now this one here, we're gonna come in, and these are ones that have already grown up on their own. Um, but we're gonna take some of the longest and strongest ones here and uh, go ahead and get them. And there again, clockwise, as we're looking down on the ground, there's one nice one, here's another nice one. Get it going. And they'll just wrap and they'll just They'll, uh, they'll adapt and they'll adjust themselves, no problem. But once you've selected out three or four of the strongest ones going up each, each rope, at that point, then what we want to do is come in and some of these shoots that are growing here, they will just pull out of the ground. Now just pull straight. Now that there, we could actually, if we wanted to, we could go plant that in a pot and it'll grow. The problem is we can't have 50 vines growing up these rope that just to let all the energy be put into, you know, essentially six to eight. So we're going to pop this. Let's see, this one here has two on it. We'll train up another one. We'll put this one on here clockwise. Get it a little start. We're going to pop this one out of here. We're going to pop this one out of here pull out the dandelion weed. I've really learned to appreciate dandelions, the joy that it brings uh, brings kids when they pop up and have that seed head and they can blow them, knowing what good they do for bees. Um, I've really, I know a lot of people just absolutely despise, hate dandelions, but they've, uh, I've really learned to appreciate them, so they don't bother me any. Now, these that you pull up, don't leave them laying. You need to either put them in a compost pile or actually bag them up and throw them away if you've got a yard, if your uh, trash collection will take a yard waste. It's just bad to lay there because any types of um, funguses, mildews, any things that might affect hops, if they're susceptible to it, will thrive on these laying against the ground and then spread. So take these and just get rid of them. Make sure you do it right away. And at that point, um, you're pretty much good to go. So that's just pruning up the hops. Thanks for watching everybody.